In this video, our main focus is how to split objects. There are a couple reasons that you would want to split an object. To me, thinking about the complexity factor, sometimes it's just easier to manage smaller parts. And most importantly for me is the manufacturability. I 3D print a lot of things. And by splitting an object, it allows me to get a flat surface that I can put on the bed. And it helps with not having as many supports. Let's go ahead and take a look at the on shape side of things. So here's just a simple light bulb I've made and I want to 3D print that. The problem is there are a lot of round areas to the object. It's going to be very hard to 3D print that without using supports. So let's take a look at a way we might be able to do that better. What I'll do, and, and if you haven't noticed, I've already got all the planes turned off invisible. I think I'm just going to take a plane that will bisect it. So the front one would do it, and it looks like the right one would do it. And I'm just going to take and turn the visibility on for that particular plane. So I turn the front visibility on. And now what I'll do is I'll go up to split, and here is the split icon right here. So split. I'll click it, and it says what parts. So I'll click the entire light bulb itself. And then the entity to split with, I'll click and I'll click the plane and then I got to make some choices I in this case I want to keep the tools I want to keep both sides the tool would be the plane but I want to keep both sides for sure so I'll hit the check mark here and now you'll notice down here at the bottom there's part one and there's also a part two now so now if I wanted to 3d print those I could right click and export those as an STL file or whatever other file I need for 3d printing So this is fusion. Let's take a look at the fusion side of things. It's a, it's a very similar process. So you notice right now I've had the origin turned off and I'll try to do the same thing that I did in Onshape. I'm going to find a plane that would bisect it. So XY would work and YZ would work in this situation. So I'll just turn that visibility on. Well, I've got to turn the origin on completely. So there's my plane. Now I'll go up and I'll click split. If you don't have split on your menu, you can go to modify and you can choose split body or split face. In this case, we're splitting the body. So it says body to split. So I'll click the light bulb and splitting tool. I'll click the plane. Now if the plane gets buried in there, you can always click it over here from the browser as well. And you see there it is. I click OK, and that will actually give me two components, or excuse me, two bodies for the moment. So I've got body one and body two. 